Hello everybody, I'm going to tell you two different prices that I found online for this OEX 600 duck down sleeping bag. Now, I've used this sleeping bag quite a lot on my channel. If you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you'll know, yep, he's used it a lot. I haven't really talked about it in like a review video, because I really want to test it for like most of the year. I'll tell you a little bit about it first. It's made from nylon rip material and it's 600 power filled with grey duck down feathers. Now I know there's a lot of people what do not like the idea of using animal feathers for sleeping bags. So this sleeping bag, like I say, is made from nylon rip material, duck down uh, feathers, 600 fill power. The whole length of it, the full length is 220 centimeters the widest part of it where your shoulders is 78 centimeters now i've saved this sleeping bag i was going to bin it at one time because i burnt it in a hot tent you can see there i've had to re-stitch it now here's the thing this sleeping bag I wouldn't rate it at the rating that it says online with. We're just going to talk quick talk about the rating. The weight of it is 1.5 kilos. Now the comfortable rating, let's talk about this because I don't believe in what they're saying. So I really want you to pay attention to this. If you think, oh, that looks a decent sleep bag and it's all right. OEX is saying this sleeping bag, the comfort is minus one. So you'd be comfortable at minus one. The limit minus five extreme minus 22 minus 22 i don't live in canada or america or anywhere like that. so the minus 22 is off target for me i'll never ever ever have that out in my temperature look the thing what i'm trying to say is i wouldn't use this sleeping bag in minus one i'm just going to be honest though i like the bag though i like the OX brand i'm going to be honest i wouldn't use it in them sort of temperatures stick to five six seven degrees maybe if it gets any colder than that get a sleeping bag liner in it you might get away with two three degrees but put it away then and get your seriously winter sleeping bags out this is an autumn sleeping bag and early spring please i'm telling you the truth i wouldn't recommend you try that in anything lower than two degrees the minus one minus five minus 22 is absolute rubbish I don't know where OEX get the testings from it. I don't know why they think it's that. Now, this is the thing what I'm coming to the channel about. I like this sleeping bag a lot. And I think I've made it crystal clear in my videos and in this video. Now, this is where I'm... I'm sort of like wondering what's going on. Now, if you go to go outdoors and you just walk into the shop and you buy this sleeping bag right this sleeping bag will cost you 240 pound 240 pound for this sleeping bag i wouldn't pay that you can get a hell of a lot better proper deep winter sleeping bag for that much but if you have a discount card you'd get it half price at the moment so it's 240 pound brand new with the discount card then you can get it with a discount card for 120 pound brand new so for a £5 discard, you save £115. You would save £120 if you already had a discount card. But what happens, you go to till and they'll say, oh, do you have a discount card? No, would you like to sign up for one? If you said no, they'd say, well, this bag's going to cost you £240. If you have a discount card, you're going to save £120. Take off to £5 for a discount card. So you're going to save £115. You know what I mean? So I don't know why they think they should put the price up for that much. You know, £240. But this is where it gets really, really strange. You can go onto Amazon. I've got it written down here. <laughs> you can go to Amazon without no discount card or nothing. And you can buy it for £110. £110. So straight away, even with the discount card that go outdoors and you paid the £120, if you got it off Amazon, you'd save £10 by getting it from Amazon. If you didn't have the discount card and you were going to pay the 140 if you went to Amazon anyway and still brought it for 110 you're making a £130 savings. So what I'm getting at is, how can Amazon 
sell it at 110 pound but go outdoors want a retail price at 240 and then say if you've got a discount card we can give you it for 120 pound but you can go online and buy it 110 pound and if you you know amazon prime customer you can get it the very next day if you want to see a proper winter sleeping bag what i recommend you take out your cold weathers check this out here that is a brilliant sleeping bag your first time you see me you want to subscribe to me see me camping videos hit this here you better subscribe to my youtube channel but for now thanks very much and i'll definitely see you next time